Who the f*** do you think you are? Who the f*** do you think you are? Shut f- up. I'm out here and I'm trying to f- and say my lines and you're f- pulling focus. You f***ing idiot. Johnny Depp broke his silence on the Lola Glaudini allegation during the filming of Blow. Johnny Depp's shining image hides many stories. Before his big 2022 court case, there were already unhappy whispers. Depp doesn't seem bothered by people seeing him differently, but the stories of trouble keep coming. And there's more. While many say good things about him, Lola Glaudini, who worked with him in Blow, tells a very different story about a tough time they had. Also, the way they advertised the movie caused a stir because it seemed to make light of drug use. In all this, Penelope Cruz gives us a little look into Depp's life. What's the real story behind all this? Let's find out. Before we go on, please make sure you hit the subscribe button for our channel. Thanks a lot in advance. Even before Johnny Depp's 2022 trial for saying bad things about Amber Heard became famous, people already thought he sometimes acted badly. Even though Depp says it doesn't matter that people stopped liking him, bad stories about him keep coming up. Some actors said nice things about Johnny Depp, but one of his co-stars from the 2001 movie Blow had something else to say. Even though the 2001 movie is about the life of cocaine smuggler George Jung and is full of drama, there's also a lot of interesting stuff that happened off-camera. Johnny Depp has replied to recent claims made by actress Lola Glaudini. She said that the actor was mean and mistreated her while they were filming a scene for the 2001 movie Blow. In a podcast episode from January 30, called Powerful Truth Angels, Lola Glaudini talked about a scene that came up again. She remembered how in that scene, Johnny Depp, the main actor in the movie, was talking alone, and the director, Ted Deme, who passed away in 2002, told her to start laughing out loud when Depp said a certain line. Johnny Depp, when they say cut, walks over to me, walks over and he goes, comes up to me, sticks his finger in my face, and I'm in a bikini, on the ground, like this. And he comes over and he goes, Who the f do you think you are? Who the f do you think you are? Shut the f up. I'm out here and I'm trying to f say my lines and you're f***ing pulling focus. You f***ing idiot. Who the f do you think? Oh, now? Oh, now it's not so funny? Now you can shut up? Now you can f***ing shut the f up? The only thing going through my head was, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. Glaudini said she was really surprised because it was not just her first time on set, but also her first time meeting Depp. A spokesperson for Depp told The Hollywood Reporter that Johnny always focuses on having good working relationships with the cast and crew, and this story is very different from what others who were there remember. The rep showed a comment from Sam Sarkar, who helped with Johnny Depp's movies like Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas and Chocolate. Sarkar worked as a sound assistant on Chocolate and a sound technician on Blow. He was also a producer on Mordecai and, more recently, on Depp's movie Minamata in 2020. As someone who works with sound, you're always paying attention to what's happening on set, listening for sounds and conversations. Sarkar explained, Specifically, I would listen to Johnny's audio to make sure there was no interference, both during rehearsals and when filming. I never heard anything like what's being claimed, and that would have been a very noticeable occurrence. In her podcast, Glaudini also claimed that Demi didn't approach Johnny and say anything like, Hey Johnny, just so you know, I actually gave her that direction. Later that day, the actress said Depp called her to his trailer and gave her a kind of apology that wasn't really an apology. He said, The actress also said that after the incident, once they finished filming for the day, she felt isolated. No one wanted to talk to me because they saw me as the person he got angry at, she explained. He sees me walking and he goes, Hey Lola, can you come here for a sec? And I walk over and um, he's like, he's standing in the door frame of his trailer and he's like, you know, so he's looking down on, you know, there's like steps, he's up there and I'm there. And I was like, yeah. And he says, and he gave me a non-apology apology, right. you know, and he's like, you know, so earlier I was like really in my head and I was staying in character and I was really like, you know, I'm doing this Boston accent and it's really f-ing with me. And so, you know, I'm just like a little tense and stuff. <laughs> my Boston accent is f-ing with yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. I hate and, that. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so I just wanted to make sure that, you know, we're cool and everything. And I just looked at him and I was like, I don't even know what you're talking about. Of course. Oh, wow. What are you talking about? Wow. Totally cool. 
Moreover, another issue involving Johnny Depp's film Blow has emerged that fans should be aware of. The Guardian reported that some people were unhappy with how New Line Cinema promoted the movie. Both the premiere invitations and the event itself were centered around a cocaine theme, which many found concerning. At the premiere, there were peppermint sticks and powdered sugar in glasses to resemble cocaine. Additionally, the carpet was white instead of red. The production company chose to include small mirrors when inviting people to the premiere of Blow. As noted by The Guardian, mirrors are commonly linked to cocaine abuse. Steve Elzer, the senior vice president of New Line Cinema Corporate Communications, stated, Anyone who watches Blow can see that this highly praised film does not encourage or glorify drug use. One of the female journalists who was invited to the premiere of Blow said such words. I was disgusted. They're handing out drug paraphernalia, essentially. They're glorifying drug use. I work in court and witness people addicted to drugs every day. Families are devastated. Lives are destroyed. While it's obvious that Blow deals with drugs, and there's no denying that, it's understandable that people were taken aback by the way the movie was advertised. The director of a rehab center in California, the Hope Institute, talked to the New York Post in 2001 and was unhappy about how Blow was marketed. Debbie Lips was worried about how high school students would respond to the promotion. She said it was sending out the wrong message. She elaborated, if something is portrayed as glamorous, they might be tempted to try it. While making the movie Blow, Lola Glaudini wasn't pleased with Johnny, but Penelope Cruz thought highly of him. Let's examine this further. Let me tell you something about the man with the hat. I came to Los Angeles the first time in 1994. I spoke no English. I only knew how to say two things, two sentences. One was, how are you? The other one was, I want to work with Johnny Depp. <laughs> In the last 10 years, I've worked with him twice, and that has improved my English. So now I can get to say, I know how to say, I want to work with Johnny Depp again. <laughs> Thank you, Johnny, for your friendship, for your talent, and for being such an inspiration to so many of us always. <laughs> we really connected and we love working together, we laugh all day long and, and he became a good friend, somebody that you can really count on and somebody that you can always trust and he's very, very unique, very really great man. It's fascinating how these two were really close pals. There's this story that she once mentioned they dated for some time. According to Metro.co.uk, Penelope talked about this in a paper for Johnny's lawsuit against Amber Heard. She said, I've watched Johnny in lots of different situations, and he's always nice to everyone. He's one of the kindest people I know. When I was pregnant for the first time, I spent every single day with him while we worked on Pirates of the Caribbean. My husband and I will never forget how sweet, protective, and kind he was to me during that time. Thank you for your time. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It means a lot to us. We promise even better content. See you soon.